Hello Superheart and welcome back to Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle and today we're going to be continuing on with our little adventure as you can see we're still in World 2. We started World 2 in the last episode and we found a frozen rabid Mario that Toad is now holding on his head. Um, it looks like we are still escorting him which has been so much stinking fun. I, you know me. I've been having so much fun with escort missions. We already saw these guys right? Yeah we did. Okay. Um, so we can just I guess head back to Toadette. I mean, I don't know if there's any more obstacles in our way at this point. I think we should be able to just plop up in front of Toadette. Oh no, there's one last one. Let's get started with 2-5, uh, the Gate Crashers. Oh my, Toadette seems excited. Oh, he fits in the ice cube tray block. Okay, and that opens to the door to hit. Hi, Bowser Jr. Hi. Huh? Um. Oh yeah, he's still scared of us, isn't he? No, we're not bad guys. Oh, poor little guy. He doesn't know he's so confused. He's so innocent. Oh no. Oh no. What is he doing? Oh. Well then, he did that. Whoa, okay, so it's like a desert and ice rabbit. It is, the Blizzy and Sandy Hot and Cold Creep. So this one's actually not Mario related. I thought all the bosses maybe would be Mario related because the first one was of course, um, What's it called? The uh, Piranha Plant. The second one was Donkey Kong. Now this one's just not. That's sort of a shame. I would like it if all of them were Mario related. Like if we could run into like a Wario and Waluigi one, maybe something like that, a Birdo one, that'd be funny. So what are we looking at here? No Toad this time, so that's a relief. But we do have our two bosses here. Um, our boss right here, this is Blizzy. He has 210 health, nine cells of movement, 65 damage of Villain Sight, and then Precision, 65 damage. Uh. And then this is just a Ziggy. Over here we have a much meatier 420 health. He has global damage reduction, wow. And um, 65 damage for his gra granite duck or grenade duck. All right then, I think we're ready for battle now that I know a little bit about them. And a lot of, you know, I've been, I just released episode three as of recording this, and I got a lot of uh, really good comments, and I wanna talk about them a little bit in today's episode, of course. First off, a lot of you didn't seem to mind that we went ahead and re, like, finished up World 1 in episode three, and, like, got all the stuff we didn't perfect uh, down, down. Um, again. I'm, like, not wording things properly today. Uh, so we can't shoot either of these guys, but I do have a 100% shot at, oh, no, I have a 100% shot at you. Oh no, I'm doing this wrong. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm doing the wrong thing right now. Um, 50% chance at you. Hmm, because I do need to take these guys out. But maybe it'd be better if right now I just went ahead and did this. I mean, maybe Mario should have power boosted everybody. Oh geez, I haven't played in a day or two, so I might be a little out of it. I could set this up. That might be good because we're not. We don't see any smashers as of right now, so it might be good just to prepare for whatever we can. Uh, we'll get that. And then can Mario shoot at anybody from here? Zero, zero. Yeah, just these two, and it's with zero percent. Well, we might as well try to get rid of the barrier then. Let's see how an ice barrier holds up to our blast. Not very well at all. Ooh, I wish I knew that sooner, because um, Rapid Peach here can't even shoot anybody. All right then, well I guess that's our turn. But yeah, so we'll do that probably with World 2 as well if we don't perfect everything, which so far we've only messed up one level. After we defeat the final boss of World 2, we'll go back and perfect everything. Some people are saying we should do the challenges before, oh here we go Luigi. There are of course challenges in World 1 and in every world that we haven't done yet, some people said that we shouldn't wait till the end of the game to do them because they do give you rewards for doing them that you're, wanna gonna, you're gonna wanna get, wanna get because if you get them after you beat the game it would be sort of pointless and I agree with that. So so hopefully we can do that soon. I might wait a little bit just because, you know, I don't want to be doing a bunch of World 1 stuff at once. It's been the first 15 episodes of the game in World 1. That'd be a little boring. So maybe I'll complete a couple worlds and we'll go back and do challenges. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we'll get all the way up until the final world. And right before we tackle the final world, we'll do some challenges. I'm not really sure. But we'll do it some way or another. Okay, so Luigi's frozen. I had him sort of hidden back here because a lot of people have been saying also keep Luigi back because he's a sniper. I knew that but he's still taking quite the beating. So, oh no, come on, this thing is getting beat up way too much. I think it's, yep, it just exploded. That's the worst. So first thing I need to do, probably, I mean, I could just attack you and probably take you out. Um, I can side attack two people here. So maybe I should do that and then try to hide somewhere a bit safer. I mean, it's not really any more different than what I got, but uh, let's do it, boom. Boom, and that should get rid of your shield, which is great. And then, 
I could just shoot you head on. Or maybe I should move Luigi first, because Luigi here is frozen, which means he can't use any of his special moves, but he can do other things, so. Interesting turn of events in that line. But I think I'm gonna have Luigi just hide maybe next to Rabbit Peach, because what I'm gonna do here is set up a heal. <laughs> that is so weird, because his head is frozen, but everything else is totally fine except for his special moves. It just sort of seems like a weird choice. So Mario, I'm gonna have you slide attack him, bounce off of Rabbit Peach, bounce off of you, and that should guarantee apparently take you out, and then everybody can blast this dude. And that might be good. So boom, boom. And then before we do anything more, I'm gonna go ahead and make Mario power boost everybody. We're going to have Rabbit Peach heal whoever she can because Luigi really needs it right now. And we're gonna try to get him farther away. It's just right now this was the best I could do because I can heal him. And now we're good to just attack him. So maybe this will even be a honey shot. It will not, but it would have been great if it was. Mario, you can shoot him. You're just facing the wrong way for some reason. There you go. Boom. And maybe, I, I don't know how, many, how much gold or experience I had, and maybe I should have checked that before we went into this. Didn't really think about that too much. But he can snipe, so that's good. Boom, no, he missed. Good job, Luigi. Okay, well, we got some good damage on the ball, so, and we took care of one Ziggy, and it doesn't seem like more Ziggies are spawning in, so I'm glad to see that. Uh, you're gonna shoot at Mario. Will you land, though? You will, gosh darn. <laughs> He's dancing on us, too. Oh, and he has that, I don't like it. Oh, this guy's scary, too. He doesn't have as much health down. But it doesn't matter, because Luigi is very low on health right now. Which means I need that Ziggy not to shoot at Luigi. Oh gosh, please don't hit Luigi. He Please don't hit Luigi. Oh, he's gonna hit Luigi, isn't he? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What are we supposed to do with it? At least he set himself on fire, but oh my gosh, why? Why? <laughs> and what is he doing now? Oh, he's putting a shield on. Okay, so what I gotta do now is I gotta get Princess Meta, or Rabbit Peach over here again. Oh, I'm doing that so that Luigi can double bounce off of him. And then maybe Mario, uh, maybe we shouldn't do anything with Mario just yet. Because right now I want to pick up some coins because there's just free coins again. And that'll help me with being stronger. We definitely need to find a way to make Luigi stronger. Maybe have more health in some way. But I just need him to get as far away of the, from the action as physically possible while still being blockaded. And that's sort of the tricky part right now is that there just really isn't too many places he can hide very well right now. I think right here is his best bet. So boom, and then what could we do beyond that? Maybe I could, I don't know if this will exactly work, but if I switch as Mario, could I maybe do that? Jump off Luigi, I can't quite reach you. I was hoping like maybe I could actually land on him and take him out. That's okay, because what I can do instead then is I could just you know blast this rabbit, because I think this is the last Ziggy, right? Like, if we go to our Tacticam, no, Tacticam, there's a Ziggy here, and then there's the two bosses. So, yeah, I think that's actually the case. So, you're gonna blast this dude, finish him off, just so he's not doing any unnecessary damage. And then, we're gonna attack you. I got 100% shot at you, so might as well. Please land, honey, because this is actually gonna affect your barrier first. Maybe I should have done something against that. Okay, so yeah, there's some honey there, so that's really good. Get his shield nice and ready, then finally maybe Luigi can blast him. Boom, it, he will blast him. It wasn't a critical, but that's fine. As long as we land a critical occasionally, right? Let's finish this turn. Luigi has 10 health, so hopefully everybody is too far away from him. Oh, they're always super tall too, so they can like reach farther. Oh, my mid bosses are tough. Like, <laughs> you think, oh, mid boss, I can handle that just by its name, but not quite, so. That didn't do really any damage. I don't think, yeah, I don't think that did any damage at all. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is be Rabbit Peach, and I'm one space away from that. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. All right, then maybe I should, hmm, where's Mario at? Okay. Maybe Louis, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then Rabbit Peach can, Still not. <laughs> okay. Hmm, how do I wanna do this? I just, I don't know, maybe I just can't reach him. Cause like if I put Rabbit Peach here, and maybe that'd work, but would we be able to take him out is a problem. I'm not really sure. Um, so let's get Rabbit Peach here. 
Oh, come on, dude, really? Really, is this necessary? Okay, at least it didn't critical or nothing. Now we just need to move to Yoon. Bounce off of you. Yes, it will land. Okay, so that means we can actually land real shots on these guys. I'm gonna hide behind this. Now this isn't gonna give us too much of a blockage because of course um, there isn't too much on left to this barrier, but it'll be something for now. We can go ahead and blast you like that. It won't be a critical, but it's something. And then you can blast him. We could finish off this first mid boss out of the two. 65 damage and then just a little bit more. Come on, Luigi, you can do it. Boom. Nice, okay. So now all we have to worry about, oh, that was a golden shot, too, is Luigi could move. But really, where could he move where he's safe? Honestly, I don't know if any of these spots are safe for him. I mean, my idea would probably be just as far away from the ice guy as possible, but where really is that? Maybe here? Like, I know he's closer in proximity, but he's got more of a defense within barriers, so hopefully he is ignored? But at this point, like, anybody, like, he could attack him, and he did. He could have done that from the other angle too, though. Yeah, there was nothing stopping him. So I guess we're not gonna get this one perfect. It happens. So how can we do this? I can, hmm, there's not really too much we can do here besides get attacked because this guy just has this move every turn and it's a critical. So we are on our own as Mario. We were doing so well and then it went really bad really fast. So I think at this point, Mario could come a little closer and then shoot him, sure why not. And we're just gonna have to get, are you kidding me? Really? Okay, I don't I don't believe that angling, but we're just gonna have to get lucky as Mario. It's just me and this guy. Oh, yikes. Now I don't think you can actually remove Mario from your team. Mario always has to be on your team. Please let this not do 139 damage. It didn't, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to do 164 damage to the guy. It's just not gonna happen. I mean, at best, I can activate this. And then I could run up to him and see if I can't ra like land the hammer. Um, chances are that's not gonna work though. And if it even works, I might not get like a successful like shot off. Yeah, now I'm definitely gonna die. And I got frozen. Okay, yeah, this, this is so, oh, okay, it's out of range. Yeah, we lost, we lost, we're gonna restart the battle. Okay, so to redo things this time, I'm gonna prepare for battle. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that we've gotten everything we can buy right now. Cause right now I have 1346 coins. We gotta be able to equip something that can help us, right? Cause I'm not, I'm just not doing well against these bosses. I feel under leveled. Um, really isn't too much, is there? Like I can do this, but obviously it's gonna do the same amount of damage when it comes to the percentages. You know, it's just a different effect. So, Mario, do you have a stronger hammer we can equip? No, so when it comes to weapons, we're just out of luck. When it comes to our ability stuff here, like I really don't have anything, I don't think it's gonna change the tide of battle for us. Increases damage done when performing a dash, increases the area of movement. Uh, maybe we should try this one then? And then, for Luigi here, he has 25 points. He has to be able to get something out of that, right? Um. Increase the range of team jump. I mean, maybe this is hero, heroes overcome by super effect are restored. So like, obviously if another character got like a nice block on their head, this could be helpful. So maybe I should just do this and maybe it'll be more of a savior tactic. Now, I don't think we have enough for basically anything else. So I guess that's where we'll throw in, wait, wait, increases, oh, we'll do this. That's not too bad. And then Rabbit Peach. What more can we really do for her? And increases the damage deal. She does do a lot of dashes. So maybe we should add that one. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. Extra team jump damage doesn't seem too bad. Or not, dash damage, because she can damage more than one person. She can damage two, so or dash two, so there'll be more damage to those two people. Hopefully that will help. If not, I will be a little bummed, but for right now, Luigi, I'm gonna have you hide over here. Mario, I don't know what I wanna do with you just yet. But Luigi, we can go ahead and get you set up with that. Now Mario, I would give him, I would make him do the power boost for everybody, but the problem is that everybody's sort of hidden right now. I mean, maybe it'd still be worth doing. Maybe if I like hid Mario, maybe I could hit, hide Rabbit Peach here, and then I can bounce Mario off of her to here, because this seems to be a well protected area. Because I'm pretty sure this, uh, this block right here will be taken out in one shot. Like if I go like this, It'll be taking out one shot, guaranteed. 
Yes. So now all we need to do is Mario, if you power boosted right now, would it power boost Luigi as well? It would not. So it might be just better to do Hero Sight for right now, and then blast you as much as we can. If we can maybe take care of the Ice Guy first, that might be exactly what we need. So Luigi, you could do the bomb, but I just don't think the bomb's gonna help because this guy has a huge range of movement when he's just out and about, so maybe, just maybe, we could get lucky with taking him out, especially with a critical, and then Mario's gonna smack him, and then Luigi's gonna smack him! Yes, that's what we needed in our life right there, did we just beat the boss in turn one? Yes, we did! That's gonna make things so much easier, and that's exactly what I needed. Oh my gosh, I was insane. Now, don't get me wrong, we could still definitely lose here, but that ice guy was definitely giving me the majority of my troubles. And Ziggy's a pain in the butt. But hey, it could be worse. So he's being a pain in the booty by uh, doing a lot of stuff. But for right now, you're gonna shoot Mario dead on. So this was a really bad defensive spot for Mario. But everybody else has seemed to be totally fine. Well, this please don't land. Thank you. I'm glad we got some kind of break. But now this guy's going around. And if he just immediately takes out Mario, I'll be super bummed because I feel like we're doing so much better. Can he do 185 damage? No, but we gotta make sure we're not clustered together or this is gonna happen and it's awful. Oh my gosh, they just don't stop. Okay. And is that it? No, you have another one. No, okay, you had the shield. Totally forgot about that. So we can go ahead at the least, the very least, go ahead and do that, do that, and then maybe just have you run back here. Like maybe that was silly, maybe I could have had her in a spot where Mario could jump off of her, but we could, as Luigi, increase the distance of everybody, and then as Mario, because Luigi didn't take any damage, which is good, because he has the least health. So, Mario, you're gonna increase the damage of everybody, I want you to land off of them, and then, like, I guess just land as close as you can here, and, I mean, really, what else can we do? <laughs> that was a bit of a mistake, because one thing, if we defeat the bosses, that's it, you know, like we don't even have to worry about the Ziggies. But it's easier said than done for sure. So let's go ahead and blast you full on. Oh, it's gonna be a critical bounce as well. That's really good. All right, Luigi, you just need to smack him like really, really good. Now, I don't think she can reach anybody else, so you might as well make your life a little bit easier, get rid of the Ziggy. And then, maybe you could heal Mario? Uh, if you were to heal right now, would that reach Mario? It would not, so it's not worth doing. Okay, you? Sure, and wait, or do this, but it will hit Luigi is the problem. So I don't know if I wanna do that. Even if it is a good chunk more damage, if we could hit the critical, can we hit the critical? We can't, but still 90 damage. All right, and Luigi can still move. I sort of forgot about that part. Uh, Luigi, where can you move that's gonna make you the most safe? Uh, we could slide tackle Yoon. And then maybe here. Like, he's gonna get beat up by the Ziggies, but he's not gonna get beat up by, you know who. Him, hopefully, maybe uh, this, uh, whatever his name, will go after one of these two because they're gonna be more vulnerable. Like Mario's super vulnerable right now. Ziggy's just gonna walk around and do that and then attack him. Like Luigi still might get taken out here, which would be the worst. But like, where else could I put have, could have put him? Like, I think this could have been the best situation for him. Cause he's gonna get blasted here. He has 40 health left though. So as long as this Earth uh, guy doesn't go for him, which he probably won't. No in my life, come on, just don't do it. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that is so good. Oh, that is so good. Even if you hit Mario here, it's not gonna do 120 damage, right? It is not. Actually, did that land that much at all? Not really, I think maybe the barrier took most of the hit there, and then this shouldn't be too bad at all. I'm gonna go ahead like this, and then I'm gonna wait right here. Actually, let me pick up a bunch of coins first. Uh, wait right here. Boom, I'm just gonna get rid of your shield, and now Mario, you can, well first off, let's heal. Heal whoever we can. And then you can just blast him. Not a critical, but that's fine, because Mario now can just hop, hop, and then probably win with that, right? Ooh, boom, I think that's it, I think that's it, come on, come on! Yeah, so we just beat the mid boss. Much easier that time. Getting a bad start with that one and not being able to take care of the ice boss is really awful, but oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, it's Beepo. Hey, Beepo. Uh, you okay? What the? Ah, I see our frozen friend has finally decided to join us. A pale imitation of the real thing, of course, but still. 
Any ally in the fight against Bowser Jr. is a welcome sight indeed. I suggest we withdraw the, to Princess Peach's castle and get our new companion up to speed. Oh my. Awkward, he really is pal compared to Mario. Oh. <laughs> He's got the song nailed down. Nice. At least their friends are getting along. That's really cute. Mario's not like competitive, but hey, we won with three out of seven turns. It was a perfect. I am so, so glad to see we will not have to redo that boss fight. Oh man, that was a tough one. So there we go, the gate crashers completed, which means we get a good chunk of extra coins, 1100 coins and 15 power orbs, which we had more of those power orbs. Rabbit Mario, wind him up, set him loose and get out of his way. Go and check Rabbit Mario's skill tree to give him a, or give him, or have him fit for a fight. Cool. And the new weapon in stock, or new weapons, there are new weapons available for purchase in the Battle HQ, which is good, because we really are needing more weapons, more than anything. So, let's do that really quickly. Um, We can check out our team selection and take care of uh, Rabbit Mario here. Now, the thing is, is that, could I, like, unselect Mario? I guess I can't. Hmm. Who would I want him to replace? Because, what is his range? Does he, can we see here? I guess we really can't. Hmm. Like, he doesn't seem bad. A big league brawler with exceptional luck, a dependable defense and solid moves, and a massive case of imposter syndrome. Like, that's cool, but I just don't know. Hmm. We might as well give him a shot today. Maybe we'll just use him in place of uh, Luigi. Just for now, just to give it a taste test, because we need a healer. Like, flat out we need a healer, and only right now is Rabbit Peach a healer. So we'll try that. Weapon selection. Um, we do have new weapons indeed. They do also hit harder, which is great. So we have 2400. Um, so this is a honey chance. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a supporter bonus, but hey, maybe over time. We need that damage upgrade for sure. So we got a honey chance or a bounce chance. I'm gonna go for the honey. So there is Mario's upgrade. Now if we switch to rabid Mario. Um, man, these are expensive. This thing is the Wrath of the Dragon Boom Shot. A fire spewing beast of a boom shot is no myth. Enemies everywhere beware, here be dragons. How's the original boom shot? Um, it's called Red Lightning. Be the storm on the horizon. Victory is yours in a flash when you discharge powerful blast from this boom shot. So these ones don't give a damage boost, but of course it's good to have some kind of um, effect. So this has vamp damage. Um, and if we take a look at that, uh, the damage dealt when a weapon super effect is triggered, vamp ensures enemy, any damage taken by the affected are added to the attacker's total for one turn. Interesting, so it gives you a little health boost, but a temporary health boost for one turn? I don't know, unless they're just saying that it lasts, that effect lasts for one turn, but you keep the health, I don't know. The damage dealt when a weapon super effect is triggered, stone halts all movement, attacks, and techniques from a combatant. Really? All movement attacks and isn't, what is the difference between this and honey? I don't know, but it seems like it hits harder, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. So, yep, we're gonna equip that, and then we have enough for uh, one more weapon, and seeing how we are playing at, oh, oh no, it was Rabbit Peach. Uh, so where's Rabbit Peach? She is right here. So this is definitely a damage boost, so we want either honey or uh, push. We're gonna go with honey. I just really like the honey effect. It's really helpful, especially against like smashers or any kind of boss, any kind of heavy hitting enemy. Really want to have it against them. And then we have some decent amount. So Rabbit Mario starts with a whole bunch of points, which is great. So what can we do for him? Of course, an explosive area attack. Rabbit Mario performs with a dash. Really? That sounds cool. Let's get that. So there you go. We have unlocked Boom Dash. And then over here we have a secondary. Of course, it's similar to Mario's. It's the melee attack. And then we have enemies within range are Dawn. Drawn to Rabbit Mario, ooh. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, unless it is. So he's sort of a tough guy, he's a brawler, that's what they say, so there's that, and then we still have 140 points, might as well buy this, and then what else do we have here? We have dash damage, we can increase that dash damage a little bit. Um, we can multiple dashes, that might be good. Increases the blast radius, ooh. I wanna try a bunch of this stuff. Make him like a really good dasher. Uh, bodyguard takes less turns to recharge. Hmm. But he doesn't have bodyguard, unless this is bodyguard. Uh, limits the damage dealt from movement-based attacks like dash. Interesting. Okay. And then magnet dance takes less turns to recharge. I don't know. 
What do we have here? And adds to Rabbit Mario's area of movement. Increases Rabbit Mario's area of movement upon entering or exiting the pipe. So I actually have enough to buy this and that. All right, then he's sort of buffed up. When it comes to uh, Princess Peach here, Princess Rabbit Peach, yeah, Princess Peach, uh, we can buy this because now Luigi doesn't have his or we don't have Luigi, so might as well get that in there. Another sentry. And then what else do we have here? Nothing crazy, right? Or, let's see. Give Rabbit Peach more coins upon, oh yeah, I don't care about that. Increases the damage dealt by Rabbit Peach while holding the higher ground. That's not too bad, but anything that costs 10? That, actually, we just bought this for Luigi, but we were, if we're not playing Luigi, might as well get it for her. Allows Mario to, oh yeah, we already have that. <laughs> so I don't think there's anything for Mario that's gonna cost 20 that we want right now. Unless we want an extra, you know, we might as well get one extra bonus to higher shot damage. It's not anything super, you know, must have, but it's gonna be helpful. And that's all the bonuses we can get for right now. But So we gotta continue through World 2 and maybe make our way to the end of it. I'm not really sure how quickly we'll make our way through anything right now, but we gotta try. So I still can't do that, but we can go this way. So this is all uncharted territory from here on out. So let's go into our first battle with Rabbit Mario and see how this dude performs. We gotta defeat all. Um, Nothing more, nothing less than defeating some bad guy rabbits. Good stuff. So I hope we still keep running into more Mario type enemies that are fused with rabbits. I don't want it just to be a world one with rabbit Donkey Kong and rabbit Piranha Plant and then that's it. It's all just gonna be different rabbits that don't have anything to do with Mario. Like I'd really be disappointed if that's the case from here on out. So let's just fight. Um, how do I wanna get things started? So first off, we have Bodyguard. Moon based damage reduction. Okay, so like stuff like when people are slide attacked and stuff, which I just don't think is gonna happen too much, but we might as well give it a shot. Um, And then how is his primary weapon? I'm not really sure. We'll get Princess Rabbit Peach right here. Seems like a decent spot for her. And then we can just have her attack that. Boom. And that's gonna burn a bunch of them. And also put them in good positions to be attacked. Ooh, really good positions to be attacked. So let's try this out for size. Let's slide attack, wow, that is crazy. Now that's not gonna hurt Rabbit Princess Peach, right? It doesn't look like it, but it will definitely hurt Eun, and I like it. So let's give this a shot. Boom, wow, that's really cool, I like that. Hmm, see, how does this work? Um, whoa! That is so cool! This guy's awesome! <laughs> I love it! So now we can go ahead and bounce off of you. I wish I could do a double of that. That would be so cool. Hopefully that's something we can do at some point. But for right now, I can actually smack him with a hammer. That would be good. So boom, boom. And he can actually slide dash multiple targets too. So there's the supporter gone. Man, Rabbit Mario's got some cool stuff going on. So yeah, we can just curse slam you. You ready for it, buddy? Boom, you will never be ready for that. So the only problem now is that we aren't really in a defensive area. Well, that's fine, because I'll just set up this. And like, wh who else do we have to defeat? Apparently there are three more rabbits about. Not a problem. Yeah, they're over here. And, oh, we do have a smasher to deal with. They're sort of playing it defensive. Hmm. Oh, there are two smashers. So out of what we have right now, we have two smashers and I think a Ziggy, maybe a bouncer. Hard to tell from this point. Um. Let's go over here, though. Like, at least just get a little bit closer. Mamma Mia! <laughs> I love he has his own rabbit version of Mamma Mia. I've also noticed that they've really toned down the rabbits a little bit, I would say. Now, I'm not saying, like, they're not rabbits anymore, but one of the, the key traits to rabbits in the other rabbits games is that they were so, sort of supposed to be a bit annoying. But in this game, they're not really annoying. They have, like, funny little jokes and stuff. And, but they don't constantly do the blah thing, right? In other rabbits game, they just sort of look at each other and go blah all the time. And it would be sort of annoying because that's all they would do. But now they sort of have more character traits to them and I think fusing them with Mario characters really helps with that because they have, you know, Mario related jokes. You know, Princess Peach Rabbit, you know, not only is she super self-centered, but she's like all flaunting her stuff all the time. So I think that helps. So yeah, it's just interesting difference. So I could sneak up here and I could slide attack you and then I could just run away. No, I can't really quite run away, but hmm. What could I do about it then? I don't know. I mean, maybe I could get, where, where's Rabbit Peach at? Hmm. Maybe I should just blast this dude right here. Oh, that's tempting. I just want to blast him. Yeah, sure, why not? Ready? Blasted. 
Oh, he got stoned too, so he is just frozen there. That is so good. Cause now I can just boom, run away, run into this pipe, hit him another time, and then like, wait like here and sure and that is so good. Boom, that did some good damage. Get over here and boom, hit you. And then where's Mario at? Uh, Mario's still over here, I totally forgot about that. I could have Mario come up around here. He can hop off of you, hop off of him. Where can he land that might be considered safe? I don't know. I guess here's fine. I wish maybe we could bring Rabbit Peach along. Maybe we should have done more uh, focus on that. But what I could do is I could, first off, let's check Rabbit Peach. Um. How, can she get over here? Not quite, but we can at least start her journey a little bit, right? And then power boost Mario. I'm having so much fun with this game, by the way. Like, it's a really, a really good challenge, and I like that. So I think Mario is inevitably gonna get hit here, so we might as well try to get a crit. We didn't get a crit. Ooh, Mario t might actually take a good beating here. So I think our best bet then, maybe we could switch back to you, play this, and you're gonna probably attack? You can't land from here. So we're good, we're good. And then there's still this little Ziggy. I think he looks like a Ziggy. He's gonna try to attack Mario, he succeeds. This guy is so low in health though. Oh boy, this might hurt. Mario, this guy has a lot of health, Rabbit Mario, like he took out most of it right there. And I think he's gonna attack twice, he's not. Thank you, because sometimes they just attack twice. And I just, I don't really get it. Okay, um, we'll do that. Cause we gotta take care of the Smasher after we take care of this jerk over here. So after Smasher 1, we gotta take care of Smasher 2. Um, how do we wanna do that? Cause I could just slide tackle him, but it might do more damage if I just boom, boom. And then maybe even just land back over here. Or maybe like, no, no matter how I hit, like land here, I can't hit that guy. So I might as well just do this. Boom, boom. Finish him off with 70 damage. It's actually quite a lot. And then, attack this, sure, why not? Boom, and it's gonna knock you way over there. 30 extra damage, which is cool. And then, that's actually not gonna make too much more of a difference here. So maybe what I could do, can I land this? No, can I land? I can't land that, but what I, no, I, I already moved with her. Okay. Hmm. So what does this do? Uh, we'll do this. It's not gonna really probably do too much for us, but hey, it's worth it. Just to get something going on here. Cause if I attack him from here and he has to run back this way, he can't climb up this thing. So that's actually a good move right there. So let's go ahead and get that figured out. Just like that. Bada bang, bada boom. And then we can just shoot him and see where he goes. Not Yoon, but him. Oh, boom. Yeah, let's see where he goes. Just that way. So now, as Rabbit Peach, we could get the shield up, like that, and then, uh, let's do the sentry. Well, actually, the sentry won't do as much damage, but I think it's still a better idea. Hmm. Or is it? I don't know. Let's try this. Actually, yeah, because she has a bonus smasher chance and it didn't activate. Okay, well, we tried. Um, is she gonna get attacked? She will, which is sort of lame, but hey, I'll let him have it this time. Enemy's turn. So we're gonna fast forward a little bit if I'm pressing the right button. Wow, okay, he's actually getting some good work done for a uh, Ziggy. And then you have seven health. Is that even fair? Oh, okay. Wow, did that just take her out? Not yet, but it, it almost did. Wow, I can't believe she's actually still kicking after that. That's crazy. Uh, well, we might as well just do that to you. And then, as Rabbit Mario, we could just actually finish us. So we did perfect this. It was a tough one for sure, but we did perfect then. So that's good, that's good, good, good. So let's go over here and, and just slide tackle you and just be done. Boom, we win, you lose. Rabbit Mario is cool, there's our first impressions with him. I like the twig in his mouth, that's pretty cool. He's just such a cool guy. Like, he, even though he's imposturing Mario, he has a totally different like style and cadence than Mario has. Mario's just a super happy look, go lucky, yeah, we did it! And Mario, or 
Robin Mario is like, yeah, I knew we were gonna do it. Are you kidding me? Uh oh, what's happening now? Whoa, what is that thing? Is this like a Super Smasher? Oh, he's surfing. He's not surfing. <laughs> he's snowboarding. Um, I don't like him. I thought we already dealt with the boss. Buckler, much maligned, hide behind. So he has a shield that he can use as a surfboard. Not only is he going to hurt us, but he's also really cool. That's not fair. Because <laughs> all the other rabbits hurt us a lot, but they're also total dorks. Bucklers, here's a tip. You need to flank them so that your attacks aren't blocked by the shield of theirs. Oh, great. What's that? Okay, maybe that one was obvious, but did you know their dash can be explosive? Or that they're lucky shots? Uh, that they use honey in combat? Hmm, did you? Of course not. Lucky I'm here then. All right, Beepo. We, we appreciate you, no need to make it complicated. So, um, we perfected that battle, but we still have to survive this one. Um, with that being said, I, I, I'm still with the same amount of coins, yeah, so I don't, I'm not gonna be able to get anything extra here. My best bet is just to start the fight, heal everybody right away, and get just as much heals out as we can. I was expecting it to be a one battle level, like it normally is. Guess not this time. I don't like this. There's not really actually too many places we can hide properly around here. Because we could, I mean, we have the high ground, so maybe I'm actually overestimating that. Um, Then we're gonna have Rabbit Peach hide here. And then, uh, hmm. Maybe it was a bit of a mistake. Where are the other rabbits? Hold on. We got a rabbit here. We got a rabbit here. You guys are a little too close for my comfort. We got a, two supporters in the back, and then this guy, the, the shield dude. Hmm, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So I think Mario has a, I mean, Rabbit Mario, yeah, has like a bigger range of motion by like one block, so that's pretty cool. Um, hmm. Maybe Mario could activate this, because I don't think we're gonna be landing too many shots on people, so I don't wanna do the power boost this turn. Maybe I could land around here, and, and I can't, like, could we break his shield? I'm curious about that. But I wouldn't want to risk a lot of time and energy on it. So maybe we should worry about other things. And then, maybe we should just go ahead and blast this. Just like that. Now he's wide out in the open. So I could go like this, land here. Now I don't have a ton of health to waste here. But I think that maybe this is the best course, is to have some people on the high ground, some people not so much. I wish we were one block closer. I guess I could call them in a little bit. Draws in opponents. And that's why you want to do that, so can Mario can just hit him right in the face. Wow. Okay, interesting combo. And then I can't shoot anybody here. I'm like one block away from hitting that guy over there. And so we can't do too much in that regard. Can't do too much in that regard. Actually, I could. Um, That's not too bad. So this guy move at all? That's sort of the thing. I don't really know if he moves. So maybe we should just focus on this one. Hmm. Let's go for this guy. Let's just see how this works. I don't know if he just stays there forever, if he ends up doing more stuff. But that's all we can do for right now, so we might as well end this turn. The Ziggy is going to come around the corner. He's actually not gonna go for a 100% shot, but it still works out for him. And then he's gonna get that nice and ready. So hopefully we can take him out before anybody really has to move. Okay, so he just moved forward. What is he doing? Oh. Oh, so he has a blast shot like Rabbit Mario does. Interesting. Okay, and then we got a supporter. I really don't like the supporters. Like that's gonna make this even more difficult than it already was going to be. Okay, so this thing's gonna move a little bit. He's gonna shoot it. Honestly, I would I'm totally fine with him wasting that on that. Cause now as you I could do this. It will damage the thing, but I couldn't care less to be honest. Uh maybe we could do this and then just blast him head on. Hmm, oh that would be good, because it might even hurt that guy, I'm not really sure. It's hitting him from the side, but it doesn't do any damage to him. It really has to be straight up from behind. Okay, well, who can do what here? Oh, I wish we were a little closer, I guess it's my bad. I always do that, I'm always one block off with that, like my natural sense of progression. I mean, maybe they designed the maps to be like that, so you, you end up making that mistake a lot. I'm not really sure. But maybe we could land like here. I mean, if that's the case, I'm gonna have Mario go like here. Wait, wait, where, where can Rabbit, how far can Rabbit Peach go from here? Actually, she can't reach down here at all. So I guess Mario is in the best spot for that. So we might as well just go ahead and boom, boom. 
and then Mario can jump off of her and land somewhere spectacular, right? Yeah, that works. That works actually really well. Oh, that works super duper well. Because I could do that. Hmm. How do I want to land here? Maybe like this. I know I'm in the danger zone, but it might be worth it in the long run. Oof. Because I was going to power boost myself and then maybe some other people. I don't know if that'd be worth it. Maybe it wouldn't be worth it. So maybe I've just endangered myself for so no reason. Um, This would finish you off, but it might also blow this thing, which I don't like. So it might be better to just... Mm, he's like pleading with me though. He's like, no, please don't do it. Don't do it. No, you don't have to do that. No violence. It might be worth damage boosting then just for this cause. Um, Let's try it. Just like that. And then it's still not enough to take you out. Holy cow, dude. Stop having so much health. All right, well then we might as well boost everybody around us. Or no, that, does that just boost him? Yeah, just boost him. That was silly of me. Um, There's no way we can hit him here. But for next turn, I guess. <laughs> uh, Well, that's what we got. So he can he land? He can land full on Mars. So that was just all around an awful choice. But he actually took care of his own teammate. Okay. That was actually really dumb by him. <laughs> and what are you doing? Oh no. Oh no, Mario. No. Well those are the only two characters, so that's the only two attacks he's gonna get. Okay, so we still don't have our heal, so Mario just wants to back up. I think that's really his best case for scenario, is for him to get out of here as much as he possibly can. I mean, really, with that even being said, the best thing for him to do is just hide it behind this one little block. We really don't get too much to hide behind in this game, for whatever reason. So we can't do that, because this is not gonna do any damage to him. I could get up here and slide attack you, and then wait here, and we'll see how that works out. Then hopefully Rabbit Peach can do the same thing. I don't know if she'll be able to quite reach this round. Will we switch to her? Yeah, she doesn't quite reach this time around. But maybe she, this is a good place for her to hide. Cause I don't think they can shoot from here. Like it's too steep. Yes, if it's too steep for him, I think it's too steep for um, us. Or if it's too t steep for a rabbit peach, he won't be able to shoot down like that. Um, oh, I didn't realize it would work that way. But hey, I guess that's fine. Um, Cause this won't, yeah, this is too far. But this will finish him off, so we might as well. And it won't hit Rabid Peach, right? Nope, it won't. So now we just have the supporter to worry about, which he might do some unfun things. We'll get the shield on her just in case. And just hope that he doesn't go for Mario. We'll shoot at him. Let's just see what happens. Because I think that shield is probably unbreakable, right? Like, I wouldn't imagine that we could just shoot at that shield all day and it finally breaks it. Or it would take an incredible amount of damage to do. Okay, so we just blasted him full on. Where is he now? He's right here. So I could attack him like, oh, I'm honeyed. Oh, that stings, that is awful timing. I was gonna go up there and slide attack him. All right, Peach, can you can get out here, but you are, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is awful. We might actually lose here. Because I can't heal him. Doing this obviously isn't gonna do too much for me. Mario can't reach the pipe from here, so he might as well like hide where Rabbit Peach was hiding. Seemed to work out well for her. That's all we can really do. I might as well once again blast him and hope that it does something. Oh, I couldn't get my critical or anything. All right, well, that's all we can do. Man, this turned out really bad really quick. If he didn't land that honey, I think things would be totally different. And he's just gonna blast him an additional time, and if he gets taken out, that's really awful for me, and I think that's exactly what happened. Let's see. Um. No, oh, he's still alive, he's still kicking. But he's still honeyed, why is it, wait, this is a multiple turn honey? That's awful. So like, if I do this, I can land it. And then from here, I do get 100% chance shot. But I need to heal him first. So let's, let's before we do that, um, maybe Mario could get over there. Oh, if Mario hides here, he can get the heal. Ooh, that's a good strat right there. So if we switch to Peach, Rabbit Peach, uh, she can heal both of these boys. Which is something, <laughs> it's definitely something. Okay, so now we just go with our strategy that we had before, which is gonna be getting over there. I could maybe hop off of you, but it doesn't really do too much, so we might as well just wait here. Oh man. So now, 
This is still gonna do more damage, so I might as well, and maybe, just maybe it'll honey him. No, not quite, but 66 damage, it's something. I can't do too much to you here, so I might as well just do this. And then, there's a hope that you can hold on, my friend. I mean, we could do the magnet dance, but it won't actually do anything from him there. So we, we can't even blast him. All right, turn done. He's just gonna walk away. Well, he's probably gonna try to shoot from there to get a wider scope, but it didn't really do too much for him. Sure thing. Um. Now, unfortunately, Rabbit Mario still can't really reach from here. But he can go like, hmm, what could he do? Like if he was to go down here and, and like set up here, and could Mario hop off of him and then onto him? Maybe, just maybe. Let's try it. I mean, maybe I tried to, I should have tried to shoot first just because. Um, so Mario, can you hop off of him, onto him, and then land right behind this dude? That's what you wanna do. Boom, 70 damage, power boost yourself. Just like that, we just won, we just won, we just won, we totally just won. Boom, you are out of here, sir. Goodbye, boom. So there we go, some good tactics towards the end there, and that got us the win. So that has to be a perfect now, right? Six out of six turns, so we took, if we took one more turn there, it would have been done. So I'm glad things things worked out as good as they could for how bad they went. Okay, and that's definitely gonna be the end of it because we got a heal, which means we have, how many coins until 900 coins, 15 more power orbs? Hoo hoo hoo, good stuff. So that's at least one more new weapon. Which I'm glad to see, and if we turn back, there should be a coin or two to pick up, there is, so boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're gonna keep rolling until we at least reach the boss, the final boss of this world. Oh, look at this giant pal block that these two are running up. <laughs> Given what these pal blocks are capable of, I'm actually pretty glad it's broken. How do you know it's broken? Well, what indication do you have that it's broken, lady? Well, I, I, I sort of assume that Peepo's a lady, but I actually don't know. Hmm, I haven't really thought about it until now. Oh, I see, so that's not what we wanna do here. Instead, maybe I want to, or I sort of can do that, because what I can do is I can push this block, I can push this back, push that there, and push it like that, push this like that, um, a little bit farther, and then push this here, and go like that, push that. Yep, and then get this prize, which is gonna be a Archeo site, new artwork, cool. Archeo, Archeo, not really sure. And then, a Sherbet supporter, you found a new 3D model. Cool, cool, cool. We need to check out like all of our 3D models. I figured we could try to do that maybe when we get them all. But uh, for now, we got a bunch of coins to pick up. Whoa, that was like a full 180 degrees. Wasn't expecting that much of a turn. So we're coming up on another battle here soon enough. Uh, What is with this bag that has, I was gonna say like that's a time symbol, like, like a little uh, thing that the sand runs through, but it's, the sand is on its side, I guess to indicate that it's a sandstorm through time. I don't know. This is a really weird area, and there definitely is some kind of nasty sandstorm going on. Where exactly are we supposed to be going? It seems like there's some puzzles for some cool secrets, so we might as well try to find some of that. Another one of these uh, puzzles that we just, are statues I just don't know what to do with too much. I can push this down here, and why not? Um, well now I can't do too much more with it, so maybe that was a bad idea. Is there really anything I can do around here? Oh, um. I don't know if I can do anything here for right now. Maybe once I get more abilities, but it seems like I'm totally clueless on what to do there. All right, got more rabbits in ball form. Still really confused about that one game. You still didn't really explain why the uh, rabbit Mario was in ball form. We have him now, I'm so glad. Look at this guy holding on for dear life. Ah, it's nice to see them until something constructive for a change. Constructive? You mean like hanging on for his life? I, I, I guess that is more constructive than letting go, but. A little more bit of a way to look at it. Might as well just go and give the guy a hand. I mean, he seemed to be smiling, so maybe he's having a great time. Uh, let's get that, and this. Uh, this is a bit of a maze, but where's this last coin? Okay, there's one here, and there's one down there. Come on, come on, I'm running out of time here, I'm running out of time, eight, nice. Okay, and that gave me a golden one. I think this led us in a circle, right? Is this where we came from? It is where we came from. Still don't quite know how to get into there, but we'll find a way. There's another giant pipe, I wonder where that one leads. It'd be cool if there's like a sewer type level in here. 
But I don't know, I think they're gonna do their normal stuff. Well, I mean, usually there is like a, you know, in Mario there's usually a grass world, desert, sand. Oh, Prickly Persuader, watch enemies lose their spines when you make them feel the heat from this cacti cannon. Cool. But there's usually desert worlds, beach worlds, so uh, maybe something like, you know, like obviously a Bowser type thing. I don't really know them. It would be cool to see like a sewer type thing going on though. So I really can't get any of this stuff. Sort of disappointing, I'm gonna go back down here and just make sure. Oh no, I can do at least one thing. Ooh, okay. So I'll go back for that, for sure. First let me see if that maybe opened up any avenues this way. Not really to be honest, okay. Well, we'll always get the mini game done. It's something we can do. It's a hobby. Wait, wait, let me get this. How did I not notice that? It is another piece of artwork. Don't even know what it was, because I was skipping it too quickly. We'll find out eventually now, won't we? Let's go this way. Okay, three, two, one, go. And then push this block or mess it up, okay. I'm awesome. Do that, and then, man, I just can't walk in a straight line apparently, no matter how easy that's supposed to be. Um, where is this supposed to go? Oh, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I actually have time, I did it on the first try, nice. So we got ourselves a rabid Mario weapon. Now what are we gonna get? It's gonna be something fantastic, right? Oh yeah. It is the Thunder Scepter, also, not for Rabbit Mario, but Rabbit Luigi, where the where there's thunder, there's lightning, where there's, uh, where there's the Thunder Scepter. Okay, that's sort of weirdly worded, but I'll take it. We did it, that's all I wanted. I like our team. You know, like I, I'm sort of missing Luigi, but it's good to mix things up a little bit. So now we're heading off this way. Oh, what is this? Um, is it like a giant Yoshi skull? Even though this is fossilized, it still gives me the creeps. Let's pass through this quickly. It is huge, ain't it? Weird stuff. Level seven. Oh, I should have checked uh, our battle HQ, but I can still do that. Whoa. <laughs> what in the world? This giant rabbit statue, where did this come from? Did they build this or what? So we're in the temple of Bois and Weave or something, which I'm guessing is some kind of Egyptian reference that I don't understand and I just don't currently know. It is sort of not as much a storm anymore, but we still have more puzzles to complete. So what can I really do here? There's only one pushable block and it's over here. And right now, the best thing we can do with it is push it this way and then it still just hits a dead end. So if we can find a way to get rid of the sun block, that's what we need. Hmm, for now though, I am utterly clueless. We might as well go get, go ahead and get another model. This 3D model is gonna be the Sandy. Sandy what? I don't know. Who knows? Oh no, there's more than one block. Oh, okay. Then see this pushable block. So there's that, that is gonna push that down, which means I can push this across and remove the green blocks. Okay, do that, so I don't need this here anymore. Um, wait, push it across like that, that, nope, one more, one more, yep, 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 yep. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Get that, and then I also wanna talk about one thing, there's apparently, oh, oh I see. There's apparently DLC in this game right now, and you know, continually heading to the game. So I think I messed this up, what I really wanna do is I wanna push this here, and push it there, and before we get the block stuck, cause that wanna be fun. Um, well now I can't push it, can I? Oh no, how do I do this without getting one stuck? Uh, can I? I mean, I guess my best bet would be to push this, push that, uh, no, no, push that, push this, aha, I figured it out. That was a little complicated there. There you go. So now that I've done that, I can push this back here, and we can finally get this red one. Gosh, that was complicated. But there is DLC in this game. I think right now it doesn't do anything crazy more than like add some meni menial stuff, like some extra weapons and stuff, but apparently there's a guarantee of like more story content at some point down the line with the DLC season pass, which is like 20 bucks. I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not. If you guys have gotten the DLC, let me know what it includes, because I'm really curious about that, and I just haven't looked into it, so why look into it if I can hear it from you guys? Because you guys are cooler than any kind of internet news site where I'd have to see 20 different ads to even see the two sentences of information I'd want to hear. 
<laughs> uh, let's get that. That's a 3D model. Blizzy. There you go. So I think that's all we can do around here. And if there was that a mandatory, mandatory thing? I guess it was. If we didn't solve that puzzle, we couldn't continue onwards. Wow, that's actually surprising me. And it's different. <laughs> wow, look at this. There's some hieroglyphs on the uh, thing over there. So before we do anything, let's get a battle HQ. We have over a thousand coins, and we have some new weapons to check out, especially for uh, Rapid Mario. The problem is that they don't really do too much more. This one's good against bucklers, though. Hmm. And the cover damage is medium, so it is an overall better weapon, so we might as well go ahead and buy that for him. Give him some extra gifts just because he's been so great. So darn great, and that's really all we can afford here. So we might as well go to our skill tree. Uh, not too much more we can do here, I think, at the least. Um, we can maybe go to Mario and see what we got. Uh, or not, <laughs> Rabid Mario. I'm gonna do the same thing I do with Rabid Peach to this guy. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I don't know, back to Rabbit Mario. What is this? This, um, don't really need that. I don't think there's too much I can really afford right now. I don't really care about the golden shot thing, because that's just like orbs that can be well spent doing better things. It looks like I want to hold on to my orbs right now. I don't think I want to spend out on any of this kind of stuff. So, let's go. So this, we're still in 2-7. I don't know how many levels. Like I don't know if there's gonna be nine levels every single time, because what was it, nine levels last time? So we need to defeat everybody. <laughs> the funny looking statue, that's what we walked under. That is so weird. So we got, it looks like two Ziggies, three Ziggies, a supporter, and then maybe a hopper. See that Sinead, it may look small and harmless, but in the desert, things can change in a hurry. Before you can blink, it will get bigger and bigger, blowing any away everyone in its path. Afterwards, the tornado will calm down again. You can always see where it's heading by checking the weather. The weather what? Uh, What button is that? Why, you can't just tell me about a new thing and then not expect me to just magically know where it is. What? What is this weather thing? There's a weather clock? Okay. I want to see this clock that can tell me the weather. There's also a block over there. What is going on over there? There's a little jug that's shaped like a rabbit. Okay. Hmm. Oh, these things. These things right here. Oh, okay. So they'll tell you which way that it's going to go. So it's going this way, which is not good because that's the, the way we are. Um. What could I do here? Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe first what I could do is get Rabbit Peach like right here. Then. I could not do too much there, but instead, boom, boom. I mean, I could hot land here and just blast this dude too, but I don't know if that's incredibly a good idea. Instead, how are these two doing? Because we got a Ziggy, it looks like lots of Ziggies, just the one supporter is really the big scare here. Hmm. Try to figure out what the best path of action is then. Because I could just finish him off. Or I could land here. You know what we can do? I don't know, it depends on the angling. Because I could either finish him or take care of most of this guy's health. You know what? I'll activate this. And then I will blast you. Oh, nice and critical, so that was a one shot. Good, good, good. So the thing is, I want to use this, you know, Rabbit Mario to take care of this guy, but the problem is that I might actually end up hurting Rabbit Peach in the process, so I don't know if that's actually something I want to do. Let's see, will Rabbit Peach be in the crossfire here? Um, No, she won't. Okay, cool. Boom, good. So there you go, first two uh, enemies taken out. I can't pick up these coins, but we'll live. Oh. <sighs> So here's the tornado. So it just goes. Like it won't even give you too much like preparation. It just goes through. And is it gonna be between each of our turns every time it's like that? Oh Mario, going for get another critical? He will look at him. He's a champ. I wish we still, of course, had double hero sight like we did with Mario and Luigi. That was such a good combo. And we could be super powerful. We could do Mario, Luigi, and Rabbit Mario, but I just feel like there's just so little healing there, it just wouldn't work. We got some good opportunities here. He's gonna throw lava grenade our way and hit both. Yeesh, that was that was hurtful. Like it hurt 
many things there, including my feelings. So this isn't good because Rabbit Peach is like super far off from everybody and in the wake of the tornado. Where is the tornado gonna go, by the way? Sort of this way. So I wanna make sure that uh, Rabbit Peach is nice and hidden. Because I won't be able to heal too many people here. So I might as well make do with other things. Hmm. Yeah, it's going this way. So really, I wanna slide and attack you and then get him to land like way over here. Just a hide. Basically, get the heck out of here. Boom, that's gonna do some decent damage out, which I like to see. And then Mario can do somewhat the same. Uh, he could get over here and uh, slide attack Yoon. Could I? Uh, I could do this and then just get as far away as possible, which hopefully this is far enough to where we wouldn't get hurt by the tornado. It looks like it would be. So let's do that. Boom. Hop off of Yoon. Nice. Is that enough to take him out? I don't think it is. Hmm. Can you hit him? You can, but now you'll be hitting Mario. So maybe we could get you to come closer. Yeah, do your little dance, do your little dance. Mm. Oh, now that's perfect. Okay, so. Oh, but you can also hit him too. But it's not really worth it because we can take him out. So we might as well just do this. Get started with that and hopefully it doesn't get damaged by the tornado, but it most likely will. Uh, now, turning back to Yoon, we could blast Yoon. And then we can finish you off with Rabbit Mario and we are mostly done. Boom. Good. So now, yeah, all we have to do is survive this tornado, which I think everybody, except for the, uh, the Seeker right here, is in good position. I don't know what'll happen. Oh no, I actually wasn't damaged, but oh no, that's heading right for Mario. Wow, I couldn't have messed it up even more. It's really hard to tell. I don't like how hard it is to tell. We still have plenty of health, don't get me wrong. I don't think we're really in dire straits, but what can we really do here? I think we want to get Rabid Peach as close as possible. This thing is taking the scenic route at this point. Um, Rabid Peach, you can't get far enough. Hmm. Because I think then I will move. Because like I know that we're about to end this, so I want to be able to get. Uh, did I move him close enough? I did. Okay, awesome. Let's just get you like here. Because I wanted her just to be able to heal everybody for the next round. Not for this round, we got this round in the back. So heal everybody, will that land on Mario? It will. Let's see if we can't get him back to full. Close enough. Not that easy battle then, we won. Okay. So that one, not too bad at all. We were able to get the win. Battle cleared and everything. He's gonna jam out on his, I don't think that's a banjo. That might be a banjo. What instrument is that? It's not like a ukulele. It might be. Banjo, ukulele, I think there's other stringed instruments that sort of look like that. <laughs> I love these hieroglyphs, you see. Over here, and oh, we can get a better look at them too. So the tornado warning us about that, that the uh, little guy is making them. But over here, these ancient hieroglyphs tell our story somehow. Ooh, I wonder if I'll get pectoral muscles. Why would you get pectoral muscles? Oh, <laughs> poor little rabbit. So even the rabbits know that he's a bad guy. Even the bad guy rabbits? I don't know. Who knows, who cares? Uh, we'll go up here, because I don't see any extra puzzles. So was that the final battle? I don't think so. I think we're still in level 2-7. This thing is so funny looking. But these guys are hanging on for dear life. They just don't care. The answer, my friends, is blah in the wind. The answer is blah in the wind. Oh, um, one flies off and another one just takes its place. All right, see you. And then what do we got going on in here? We got at least this. There's gonna be some artwork that I just don't care much about in this moment. Get over here and get this one. And that is some music pieces. We got a song of ice and desert. Cool. The music, the soundtrack in this world has been really good, so I actually can't wait to hear that. I still like World 1's music better because it's been sort of like, the World 1 music was sort of like a remix on the original Mario soundtracks, so that's always cool. What's over here? Ooh, I actually didn't need that at all, so maybe I shouldn't have taken it, but hey, what is this? It is a Rabbit Kong's theme. You found a new gold soundtrack. Check it out at the museum. Very interesting. And then, oh, we're in a battle. I really regret picking that mushroom now, but hopefully this will be the final one, the region area. This is where I would really wish we had Luigi. I mean, I could pull him out. Maybe we should, we'll try what we have now, because I'm probably gonna title this episode Rabid Mario, so I wanna be able to get as much Rabid Mario in as possible. But if it doesn't turn out well this first time, I will probably, you know, revert my statement and go and play as Luigi a little bit. So let's fight. 
We're gonna have... Ooh, I don't know how I wanna do this. I could just... Maybe start things off like this, and then like that. I could even have you land way over here. Might not be the, oh wow, now give me a 100% shot on him. That's a good start, so let's do that. Damage you as much as I can. And then with Rabbit Luigi, uh, not Rabbit, Rabbit Mario, um, could he from here and hop up here? He could, wow, there are some, there are plenty of good opportunities to stir things off here. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and boom, boom. The only problem is that Rabbit Peach really isn't in a good position after all of this. We'll make it work, boom. I wish I actually damage boost everybody as Mario. I, if, that, if there's only one regret I had, that's it. Because I think we could have done even more here. But we could just one hit KO you as well. Whenever they're in the red spaces, they are just in not good spots. So we stoned that guy. If we attacked this guy head on, I wonder how that would work. But you know what? I could call them closer to me. Ooh, this could work out really well. Because Mario can still attack him. And he can power boost himself. Power boost himself. And I know we're supposed to be getting to the end, but if we could take care of this bozo, that'd be great. Boom. That's gonna do a decent number. Now she can slide attack you, slide attack you, and then like wait. Mm, I wanna wait here, but you know what would be even better is if we wait here, and then we can explode this thing on them. And hopefully it'll work just like that. I don't know if that'll actually damage him. I really hope it will, but it might not. And if not, I'm in a bad situation. It will! Fantastic. Now the only problem is that Rabbit Peach here is gonna be a little vulnerable, so we might as well throw the shield on her, and things are working out fantastic. Now there are plenty more enemies to go, but I think it was good to get that good start, because now we can just keep making our way forward without too many enemies being in our way catching up with us, because that's inevitably gonna happen. A lot of work done in that first turn. Now I do want to sort of revisit what, what route we have to take here. So he's just gonna try to attack Mario, he's not gonna hop down. Will Mario dodge it? He will not, he get criticaled and honeyed. That's not good. What about you up here, and what are you gonna do? You're gonna also shoot at Mario, but you're not gonna land. So this we lucked out somewhere. Okay, so before we do anything else, I'm gonna take a look at this. Uh, Cause we need to get up here, through that pipe, so how do we get up there? There's this pipe right here, which that pipe leads around to here. So I think Rabbit Mario is our best bet, yeah, because he can take this pipe and then make it way up there because there's really nobody blocking him from doing so. So if, really, if Mario and Rabbit Peach could play a little bit of a game of keep away for right now, that might be all we need. Because I could have you do that. Well, first off, can she heal him from here? She could heal Rabbit Mario, who does not need the heals at all. So instead, no, I'm playing the wrong character. Let's do this. Let's put you here, and, and maybe you'll be a little bit vulnerable, especially if you're gonna be smacked in the face like that. But it might be worth it if we can heal herself and Mario. Boom, because Mario's gonna need the extra health. First turn. Boom, and just finish you off so we don't even have to worry about you. That's good. Now, Rabbit Mario are gonna be our best bet for the most part. Because we can blast you and hope that it does something to your shields. I really don't know if we can like break their shields or not, but it's gonna be a little bit until I find that out. The problem is that he doesn't have too much of a range of movement up here for whatever reason. Maybe it's because of the wind, maybe it's because of the high ground, I'm not really sure. But of course, he's not gonna be able to land the shots on anybody, so we might as well finish there. And why I think Luigi would be good here is because of course he has the double person jump. But hey, maybe that won't make much of a difference. Oh, good on Mario landing that shot. So who are you gonna shoot at? You're gonna shoot at her, and you have a good shot on her, and you're gonna critical. So he has a high chance of landing that critical, which is not fun. But there's her turn over for now. Hmm. If we go through here, just like that, we can actually go pretty darn far. I just don't like that too much. Because one thing, we go through that pipe, and we exit out of here. I'm almost positive it looks like it. Okay, so we don't really need to do too much more than hide here, because this is gonna be defensively the best idea. Because as long as we can get a few extra spaces by coming out of a pipe, and we do, I think we could end it by next turn. And in the meantime, I, I can't end that. I was hoping I could, but I can't. 
Now she's stuck is a problem. <laughs> Poor her. Now Mario could hop off of this dude and not really land anywhere fantastic, but he has enough health to keep them distracted for just a little bit, and maybe that's what we need to save Rabbit Peach here. So boom, land off of Yoon. I'm going to probably, yeah, totally just blast this dude into oblivion. Maybe land a crit? Nah, not quite. That is a huge bummer. So he can't really do much. Rabbit Peach is in a position where this isn't just not gonna do much at all. Best bet is to get that rolling, because she's still she's still honeyed. I'm almost positive. Oh no, she's not. I thought she was. Okay. Um, run back here then. And we'll finish with that. Now, there are some more enemies popping up. I don't really like how they can pop out of the ground and move on the same turn. Like, that's just not fun. Whew. So, oh boy, where are you moving? That's actually not good. Please don't honey me. Okay, okay, that's fine. And then you, are you gonna honey me? Please don't, oh, you're gonna slide tackle me first. This could actually really hurt. I don't like it. Mario, hold on. Oh, okay, we survived. I don't know how we did, but we did. So just to ensure, this is gonna move. You're gonna shoot it, okay. I, I'd rather him waste his shot on that than anything else. But if we go to Mario, let's test out this pipe. Make sure that it's, uh, okay, yeah, it does go out here. That's what I was worried about. Um. So really what we could do, I mean, maybe before we do that, let's just try to win. <laughs> let's not do anything more than we have to. Oh, that stinks. Oh, that really stinks. Oh, that really, really, really stinks. Um. Okay. We have some problems, but not too many. Cause I could just set up here. I could set up shop right here. Let's try that. Maybe I should, why didn't I slide tackle? I could've done so much damage with that. Oh, I'm a dingus. I wish there was an undo button in this game so badly. Oh, well. That should be enough. It shouldn't hit Mario. And it stoned them, so it was a critical double takedown. All right, Mario, I know you can't go through a pipe after you, uh, but we can get you as close as physically possible, which is right here. I wish that you could go through a pipe. That would, that would be a cool upgrade, is if there was a way to make you go through a pipe, and we'll get a shield on you just so you don't die. I think we will end it off with that. There is one dude over here, and once again, you're just gonna shoot this thing because apparently that's fun. Are you gonna, you're not even gonna go through the pipe. We definitely just won. So let's just go ahead and play as Mario. Go through the pipe, and win. Okay, not bad. I thought that was gonna be a lot worse. It was not. <laughs> awesome. I love how he just jams out on that every time. He's such a cool dude with his toothpick and he eats a pizza. He's the coolest guy. I love Rabbit Mario. Okay, I gotta take a lot of drinks of tea because there's a lot of talking in the series. But cool, 900 coins, 15 more orbs. 15 orbs isn't too bad. Hmm. Let's keep going. Because it seems like we haven't run into whatever the boss fight is. Ooh, it's a lot more bright up here, but there's still sort of remnants of a sandstorm going on. We got plenty of coins though, plenty of coins. All right, well, that's all we get from here. So we can bounce back here, and this is where it's gonna get a whole lot more icing. I keep holding back burps today. I don't know what is wrong with me. Huh. Oh, wow, yeah, it is super duper icy, and we can go into uh, two eight now. So we are really not done the whole party right now. Hmm, this is spooky. <laughs> it's a big old fridge. <laughs> well, well, it seems the Goody Two Shoes crew can't get enough of your talents, Bonnie. I wonder what new creation you can come up with to pique their interest. I had better get good, or better be both good. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Oh no, don't be mean to him. Go on, let him have it. Give him something straight out of your nightmares. Or I'll give you something to be scared about. Don't be so mean to him, you're such a jerk. Oh, he's trying to leave. Stop wiggling, you sap head. You're going to fall to the, oh no! The poor little guy. Oh gosh, oh gosh, he's so scared all the time. Is he gonna fall in the fridge? Oh no, he's gonna fall in the handle and freak out. And what is he gonna do in there? Oh no. 
Uh, I hope you had a insurance on that fridge. Now we're both upset. <laughs> hanging out with uh, Bowser Jr. He's like, it's okay, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I love it. And you, stay away from Spawny. As a matter of fact, stay out of my way, period. I have things to do and daddy issues to repress. Yeesh, that got dark quick. Okay, well, that was a cutscene. We're in World 2-8 now, and there is a little bit of a puzzle here. I like this, so boom. This isn't too bad. Well, I wanna see these things on the side over here and get that, and then this, and then, ooh, boop, and then go over here, and oh geez, we are running out of time, actually. Isn't as bad, I mean, it's not as good as I thought I was gonna do. Wait, how do I get out to that one? I gotta go all the way out and around. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, run, 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 okay, we got it. It's not even flashing yet. So, it looks like, yeah, everything that's out in the freezer section got knocked away, so we got some weird blooper thing with it. Whoa, there's a QR code there. I wonder if anybody's taking a picture of that yet. It's actually shaped like a rabbit, so it probably maybe doesn't do anything. But then we got like, blah, frozen food that's like frozen chicken nuggets, and it's Japanese. Okay, well, let's open this up. It's gonna be a new weapon which is super duper exciting. We've only gotten like three rabid Mario weapons, so this is another rabid Mario weapon, the special delivery secondary weapon. Just have your enemies sign on the dotted line to receive the butt kicking of a lifetime. Cool. So I think that's where we're gonna finish today's episode off. Of course, we could head on and do more levels throughout 2.8, but I think we'll save that for the next episode because this is taking me a little bit longer than I thought it would. So in the next episode, we'll, can, we'll finish off World Tune. We will go back and perfect any levels we need to perfect, and then we will be done for that episode or something. I don't know, we'll find out in that episode. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Mario Zebra so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra. Fantastic viewer. If you enjoyed today's episode and you'll want to see more like it, feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.